story time. So, when I made the decision to move out to Las Vegas, I came out here in February 2005 to scout out a place to live, get some information on how to join the union, blah, blah, blah. And my friend, let's just call him M. He and I would come out here and, uh, I mean, there were, there were abandoned cars all over the place out here. And where I'm standing right now, this particular spot, there was a burned out Chevy truck. Somebody tried to dump it over the, the, the edge here, over the precipice. And there was a, a Ford Bronco that was over the edge. Somebody abandoned it and pitched it over the edge. So we came up here. We knew it was up here. We came up here to check it out, see if there's anything new up here. And what you know, there was a brand new Jeep that somebody tried to throw over the edge. <laughs> the Jeep was right here in this cluster here. And it got hung up in these rocks down here. It wouldn't go over. So, you know, it had a battery in it, so we took the battery. You know, free battery, right? So, I had, um, I had a pickup truck at home that I was working on. I wanted to cut the corner off that pickup because that was the only part that wasn't distorted from the heat and the fire. So I came up here with some cordless tools and I started hacking away on it. And I opened the fuel door on the passenger side and the keys for the Jeep fall out. So that night, we met a friend and, friend and I came up here. We brought the battery back with us. And, yep, the keys fit. And... <laughs> The, the dang Jeep had three flat tires and we hauled that Jeep out of here. We actually, we couldn't pull it up, obviously. Couldn't pull it up out of here. So we pulled it down and followed that ledge all the way over to there and pulled it up with a quad. Pulled it up to where it was behind me. And we drove it off this hill. We parked it down on the street we went and called the police and reported it and an hour later they came with a flatbed and picked it up but there was at one time i think there was four vehicles up here and this trail right here which originally started with uh, some guys on dirt bikes and then it was made a little bit better by guys with quads and uh it's really tough even with a dirt bike to do this you'd see people try to drive their trucks it was a nice Hummer H2 that got hung up up here. I would have hate to have that tow bell. I, was, I lived right down here. Let me get over on the other side of this ridge. I'll show you if I don't die first. It's just, it's just hard to walk. I'm trying to drive this in a truck. Freaking morons. Well, I can do it. All right. Down there where that school is, Directly across the street, this is Mall. The street here is Mall. There, there's some apartments right across the street. I used to live, that's where I lived when I moved here. This look familiar? Well, if you're a Clint Eastwood fan, I apologize for the noise, this should look familiar. This was the site of a movie set and a film that Clint Eastwood starred in, I think it was released in 1974, called The Gauntlet. The movie's about a cop, a Phoenix cop, who was sent here on a fool's errand. Go rent the movie and uh, check it out. It's about a third of the way through the movie. Excuse me. I'm not the only ones using this place for a movie set. Yeah, I was up along that ridge line all this morning. It's pretty exciting. I've never been on a movie set before. This is just an iPhone 6 Plus. Yeah. Hello guy, having fun? 
So, I couldn't get more footage in that area because it was being occupied by a uh, independent film crew, which is pretty cool. Man, <laughs> the things you see when you go on a hike. Up here, um, away from the, the movie crew, on the other side, on the east face, there's a um, an open area huge cavernous open area that uh, a lot of people come up here and in the summertime especially was because it's really cool inside there about 20 degrees cooler than the ambient outdoors actually it's right here For all you young viewers, I have to apologize for the profane graffiti. But, uh, I got blowed up all back. Supposedly, you can smell the soot in here. But, uh, yeah, this is the one. Supposedly, you can go up over that mound there and go all the way to the other side of the mountain. I'm not going to, but... And that's probably 16 feet to the ceiling here. Before I moved up here, these boulders weren't here. You could actually drag your car in here. Oh look, a new IKEA. So what did we see today? Well, we saw a little owl. That was nice. We saw some people. I guess that was okay. Um, the desert gave up some goods. We got here. Got some aluminum. Nice cutoff wheel. Gold pan for painting gold. That's why they call it a gold pan. A stainless steel bowl. An almost new trash can. And a ton of brass. I need to go back and get the rest of the brass. But that was about eight, eh, seven miles, seven and a half miles total. And uh, I'm glad you came along. I hope I didn't bore you to tears. And if I didn't, well, that's great. If I did, I am real sorry. I'll try harder next time. But uh, hey, I had a good time. And uh, now I'm going to go and uh, put some uh, icy hot on my knees because they are killing me and uh so until next time 
You have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep the powder dry, and have yourself a splendid day. It's been a while since I've said that. Okay. Let me get this stuff out of my trunk. See you later, guys.